When we met? Oh, that was a while back. We were at a friend's party, and I had seen Abby around since we had the same friends, but I never talked to her. Anyway, the party was really boring, so after having a few drinks, I remember that I had an exam in the morning, so I should probably go home and study for that. But on my way out... I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, strawberry, my favorite. And that's how I knew we were meant to be. We started hanging out with each other. It was really nice. The more time I spent with her, the more close I wanted to be. It was as if she brought color back into my dull life. She made me remember the dreams I had forgotten. Meanwhile, she helped me through some hard times, being more than just a hand to hold. We could have officially started dating a lot sooner if it wasn't for someone who wanted to come out to her mom first, which took forever. Hey, you know how hard my mom could be with these things. So, Mum, there is something I need to talk to you about. Alright. The thing is, you need to know that I... That I... I like tacos. Me too. What? You do? Yes. And burgers and pasta. That's great, Mum, but not really what I'm talking about. What I mean is that I don't like hot dogs. That's okay, dear. Everyone doesn't need to like the same thing. That's closer, but... What I mean is that tacos, tacos have a nice shape. I like the shape of a taco. It feels good in my mouth. It was a disaster. Shut up, just because you had it so easy. Caitlin, are you gay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Could you pass me the salt, please? Sure, mom. Thanks. After having been together for a while, we talked about moving in together. Mostly just so we could get out of our parents' home. Yeah, it was getting a bit awkward. They're such nice friends. What are you doing? No, 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 no. We are not having genitals on our wall. But I like it. It's funny. I could put a red cross on it and it could be like, Beware of the penis spreading diseases since dinosaurs walked among us. You can't just say that because you personally don't like dicks. Penises and vaginas are just as good and bad. Both spreading diseases just as much. Don't be rude, treat them equally. Alright then, how do you suggest we reach this equality of yours? Well, you can start with putting up a vagina poster as well. Tell them everyone needs to beware. Well, maybe I will. Great, I'll go get one. Hey, Abby? Did you know that one in six in the UK have HIV and they don't even know it? How scary is that? I know, good friend, we can't get it. What? Yeah, you know, lesbians can't get it. Uh, no, lesbians are less likely to get it, but they still do. Everyone needs to be careful. Oh. Abby, you have been tested, right? Well, I thought that I didn't need to really, you know. But... It's good to get tested, and it's super easily and completely free. How about you do it tomorrow? Just pop into the sexual health clinic and get it done. I don't know. I don't like the whole thing with nurses and paperwork and everyone thinks you're weird. Okay, look. What if I'll join you? We can get tested together. I can go first. Really? Yes, and then we can have cake. Of course, the life elixir. That's how we ended up here. That's great, darling, but I ask how long you've been together, to know how many you've been sexually involved with. Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good night, Caitlin. Night, Abby. Hey, Caitlin? Yeah? If it turns out that I've got something, anything, would you still love me? Of course I would. It doesn't matter if you happen to have caught something. You're still you. You are not your illness. You're still Abby. And it was Abby I fell in love with. Same to you. Thank you. And Caitlin?